Okay, now see this? This is going to be an absolutely barbaric battle. What is going on, Dragon Ball fans? Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3 Mods. I am your host, Unreal Royale, and this is Team Vegeta versus Team Cooler, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta versus Golden Cooler. Let's not waste any more time. I have something very special for this one, so let's just see how far we can get into. So, my team leader is going to be none other than Vegeta, and I'm going to team up with the following. Yes, I'm also going to use Moro. As wacky as that sounds, it's going to be Vegeta Moro, and I want to use somebody random, somebody totally random. So you know what? I'm going to go with either Mos- you know, no, Araka. Yes, we're going to go with the God of Destruction from Universe 5, and we're going to fight against the following. So, Golden Cooler and another set random team. Let's see here. All right, you know what? Yeah, we're going to fight Moscow. Hell yeah. Moscow for the fight. And again, guys, if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button, Paragus. Should I use Paragus? Nah, Paragus is just too stupid for me. Uh, no, we're not gonna use Paragus. You know what? Yes, we're gonna use, uh, Super Saiyan Blue or Super Saiyan God? Super Saiyan God Trunks. W why the hell not? Again, if you guys are new, smash that subscribe button. Give this video a big fat like, guys. Likes help out the video a lot. So if you guys want to see more videos, if you guys do enjoy the Dragon Ball content on this channel, then again, smash that like button, guys. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Check out the official Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkai 3 playlist down below. Yo, this is gonna be crazy. Uh, the, the, I, f I forgot about this planet, actually. The prison planet. Can you, uh, first of all, Vegeta versus Golden Cooler. Like, I, I think in and of itself, oh, crap. The initial Golden Cooler that we saw in the, uh, original, uh, prison planet fight, that would have been, that would have been good. Um, Golden Cooler was a complete waste when we saw him first go Golden. That was, that was the absolute worst, because he didn't do anything. He didn't fight Cumber. Well, I mean, he barely did. He didn't fight Goku, barely. He didn't fight Vegeta. So I want to see Golden Cooler versus Vegeta. And, and I also want to know in the comments, too. Let's say, for example, if this actually happened, are you guys for Golden Cooler, or are you guys for Blue Vegeta? Let me know in the comments, because... And we're not going to count uh, Golden Metal Cooler, because he's... I think Golden Metal Cooler is exceptionally stronger than regular Metal Cooler for obvious reasons. So yes, if this was Golden Metal Cooler, then sure. I, I, I would give that towards Golden Metal Cooler. Oh, why would you do that? Oh, here we go. You know what? We're going to go Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, baby. All right, so Evolution Vegeta versus Golden Cooler. Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Someone actually recommended this. They were like, you know what, Alex? How about you recreate Cooler versus Vegeta? And I was like, you know, that doesn't sound too bad. I I, just, I'm, I was trying to figure out, like, how am I going to do this? Oh, my. Dude, why are the rush attacks so singular? It, it, it just feels so tacky, I think, in my opinion. But it is what it is. I mean, we're nearly at the same health right now. So I, I just want to make sure that I can endure this and I can survive. On the previous video, guys, we covered Super Saiyan God Cumber. So if you guys want to go on ahead and check that out, link will be located down below. Check that video out. Show this channel some love, guys. I mean, like I said before, we're, we're first and foremost the gaming channel, so I just want to see if I can put this dude down. So we're going to be covering lots of gaming on, like, on this channel, especially going forward. Yo, can you can you not? Yo, this is this is a really back and forth fight. Like, I, I wasn't expecting any of this, to be honest. Kuda. Yo, he's really, uh... He's really bringing it to me. I actually, for some reason, I really enjoy this map. Whoa, what What did he just do? What the hell did he just do to me? That was, oh, hell no, bro. Oh, yeah. We're going to go on ahead and use our godly final flash right to the face. You think you're tough? Yo, Cooler thinks he's tough, bro. Hell no. You know what, too? Can you imagine if Cooler, like, actually discovered another form beyond his final? Like, for example, right? He told, he told Goku that he found, what was it, what was it, a fifth form beyond his final, right? So can you imagine if he went as far as to discover a sixth form, right? Like, that would be, that, yo, that would be so good. Because it adds a different level of dynamics to, um, character development, and we get to also see, like, the depths of, like, Frieza's race, you know, how far they can actually go. So, I mean, I, I would be down for that. Like, I, I've seen many incarnations of people, like, creating fan forms and whatnot like oh what if what if cooler had this what if 
you know, Frieza had that, you know, like, just wacky stuff in and of itself. What's pissing me off right now is the fact that Cooler is easily able to deflect my attacks. And that's, that, that, that's, that's a definite no-go for me. There we go. Because you guys saw that, right? My, my first Big Bang got nerfed. My final Flash got nerfed. So it's like, dude, what in the world is going on right now? Aw, oh, crap. He's at full power. All right. I'll be at full power, too. Let's see. Can I, can I body him real quick? All right. Let's go. Come on. Team Vegeta for the win, guys. Team Vegeta for the win. But also, like, let's say in theory, right? If Kuro went after Vegeta, how do you think that fight would go? Like, what would be, like, the main reason he would target him? Oh, yeah, Vegeta beat Cooler, baby. Oof! All the Cooler fans are probably tight. Oh, there he is, Moscow. Oh, crap! Okay, that, that, was, that was a big fail. Also, like, what I want to know is, like, let's say, for example, right? Oh, my God. Yo, that was... What the hell was... Oh, no. Okay, new poll in the comments. Evolution Blue Vegeta versus God of Destruction Moscow. Who wins? Just because I, I, I'm very interested to hear everyone's opinion on this. Because it's different. It's, it's, it's very different, actually. Oh, no, Moscow. Oh, my God. Damn. Yo, Moscow's bringing the... Yo, he's bringing the heat right now. Okay, okay. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. If he beats Vegeta... I mean, then again... I, I, I wouldn't mind, because that would have meant it would have took a, a god of destruction to defeat Vegeta. You, you know what I'm saying here? So, oh crap. No! Oh, this is so bad. This, yo, yo! Yo, Moscow, right? Yo, Moscow's a beast. What? Is Moscow really gonna kill Vegeta? I hope not. Alright, guys, this is, this is our final run with Vegeta. It has to be. Oh, Jesus. Okay, here we go. Final Flash, is this gonna work? Oh my god, yeah. Wow. The God of Destruction Moscow just destroyed Vegeta, bro. I I'm sorry. Rip. Oh, we have Moro. One of my personal favorites, actually. Moro was such a beast in the mo- You guys can't deny. Everything Moro did in the manga was so well suited for him. Like, his Deceptful Wish, when, when he fought against Goku and Vegeta, like, everything he did, I think, was very subtle. Oh, whoa. Uh, everything was very subtle, and I think everything did make a lot of sense, you know? And a lot of people are gonna say, oh, man, you know, Moro should have done this, Moro should have done that, we should have had Beerus versus Moro, what, like, you know, this, that, and the third. I just think that everything Moro displayed was very, very good, and... You know, just going forward, I think that it's something to look at when it comes to villains. And you can say to yourself, you know, you don't have to be super, super, duper complex, but you can still offer something different. Oh, hell yeah. Destroy him, Moro. Yes. That's a great attack, yo. I'm not sure if we did, like, that much damage, but let me see if I can up up my power. Yeah, yo, yo, this dude Moscow right now, bro. It's over. Oh, it's, it's done, man. I'm telling you, homie. Yeah, Moscow's gonna eat that giant black hole of an attack, whatever the hell it is. Oh, he's finished. Yeah, he is He is cooked. Moro is about to smash the God of Destruction. Hell yeah, dude. Now, can you imagine a scenario like this, right? Now, I want you guys to put yourselves in Trunks' shoes, right? Now, imagine if Trunks came back into the past, and he was like, Guys, I, I, I need your help. There's this goat. You know, and, and he's sucking all the energy and the life of the planets and the, and the people here. What do I do? That would have been such a wacky yet interesting narrative. Even though I, I don't want to see Trunks come back ever again uh, with another problem. Because that's just so repetitive. It's, it's always the fact that Trunks comes back and he's always like, Guys, I need help. Guys, I need this. I need that. You know, like, it's just like, it, it gets boring after a while. You feel me? Unless he plans on staying in the uh, current timeline that they're at now, then fine. But if they ever bring back Trunks just because, like, oh, man, you know, like, there's, no there's another problem, I, I need your help, blah, 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 that would really suck. I, I think that would really, really suck. Because the only thing Trunks at this point is good for is simply going to the past and bitching. Oh, okay, okay, nice attack. Nice attack, Turangsu. But Arak, Arak is pretty cool. 
I think Arak, especially when we saw him fight, he, he was pretty, I mean, he was okay in his approach, you know? Oh, Trunks is about to get cocked, man. What is this? What is this? Oh my god, I, is he gonna die? I hope not. I still need him in this fight. Turanksu. Is he dead? Okay, he's still alive. Alright. Trunks versus Arak continues. But either way, guys, I do want to say thank you all so much for supporting the channel. Thank you all so much for sticking on by. And thank you all so much for watching. Whatever kind of recommendations you guys have, or whatever kind of videos you guys want to see in the future, or any kind of battle, let me know in the comment section below. Because whatever kind of battle you guys want to see, I am going to take into consideration. So if there's anything specific you guys want to see, let me know in the comments. Oh yes, can you catch me, Trunks? Can you catch me? No, you can't. No, you can't. I can smash this dude at any moment, man. Actually, you know what? Hold on. I don't want to end it with uh, A-Rack. I want to end it with Moro. Alright, come on, Moro. Come on. Come on, Trunks. Come on, Trunks. Oh, he's at max power. I'm actually going to wait until I get max power, too. Alright, can you stop uh, jabbing me with your sword, my good sir? Oh, he got me. Oh, he got me. Oh, he got me. Okay. Alright. Is he, is he going to copy me? Is he going to mimic my style? Damn you, Trunks. Yo, he's getting the better of me right now. Hold on. Hold the phones. Oh, whoa. Did I stop him? Yo, Trunks. Trunks isn't playing anymore, dude. Trunks is not. Yo, Trunks is not joking anymore. Okay. Very good, mortal. It's time for me to drain your life energy. Can you hit me? Oh, what's the matter? You can't catch me? But guess what I can do? Watch this. Any minute now. Any minute. Any second. I'm going to run up on homeboy. Yep, yeah, right here. Here we go. Come on, Moro, destroy Trunks! Oh, we got him, holy crap! Oh, we got him, he actually connected, wow! Okay, either way, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Check out the previous videos. Give this video a big fat like if you guys enjoyed. Comment down below, and I'll be seeing you all down in the comments, guys. Take it easy. Peace!